This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we we'll bring you the biggest sentiment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shanke. It's popping, it's popping. Good morning. How are you folding your hands? Are you quarreling with somebody? <laughs> yes. Who? Who are you angry with? A lot of people. Ah, but like, don't worry, I'll put my You don't hands want to share? No, no, no. Let's just put my hands down for now, right? Okay. We'll get cool. back to folding the hands later. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with good news as Demi Lovato gets engaged to Yay. actor Max Elrich. Sharing the news on her Instagram page, Yay. the singer says she's ecstatic to start a family and life with Max, stating that she has never felt so unconditionally loved by someone her Aww. whole life other than her parents. Aww. This is so sweet. Yes. I like that we're getting a lot of good news from this people <laughs> this period. So yeah. congratulations to Demi Lovato. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. I like how it's also very simple for mm -hmm. people who I love the ring from. Yeah, it's so fat. Pretty. Why were you not trying to search for your own? I do, I'm not engaged. <laughs> really? Like, so I, like yeah, the, I love the I like ring, the ring fam. Fam. Yeah, <laughs> because just me looking at it's where the ring yeah, is supposed yeah, to be. Relax, it's coming. Mm -hmm. don't, I'm not. Don't, don't be in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> just one just bit, calm down, fam. sis. One mm. bit. I'm not in a hurry. But congratulations to Demi Lovato. Me that I'm there. I don't have rings, so it's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm happy for her. I like the part where she added that the. Um, photographer was in the woods i guess obviously they're trying to allow them to have their moments Moment. just by themselves yeah. and everything and Hi. imagine look at their moments looking so mm. Mm. it's nice it's nice okay. i really like how it was simple i think uh, it reminded me of the conversation Nimi had on the table you were i think you were there or maybe it was if about you know having a loud wedding and the, yeah, the, the yeah. pastor was saying something i mean it's not like i know one is better than the other but um, it's nice to see something really different, especially on social media. Even her outfit was very vintage and very like simple. At least she did her nails, so we thank God for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, she knew the the, the engagement was coming. Of actually, course, of there course. There was the news of this happening. I think around April, where they said they were supposed to be engaged after the lockdown. So mm. yeah, she knew this was going to happen anyway. Yeah. So I'm happy, happy for her. I think I think if you know her journey and being a child star, watching her grew up on um, um, Disney and Victorious and Camp Rock mm -hmm. <laughs> and all those things. And then I have been in the spotlight and having the drug issues and Milo's breakup and just the whole entire A thing lot. has A been lot. pretty full on. So to see her really serene and peaceful and calm like that is really nice. Like I was telling you in the, in the makeup room that I just personally would have wished if maybe he wasn't in the industry. Mm -hmm. So somebody that I know what, even for me, and I have, I have, I do have a quota of her fame. It's nice to always be around people who are not necessarily in the media. Cause when I can freak out about something that's in quote unquote superficial, um, superficial, somebody who is not in the industry can see that better for me rather than I'm with someone who, ex who also is in the same mm, yeah, sports, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it yeah. doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really mean anything, but that's just like personal thinking. But I'm happy for them, and I hope it lasts, and that we get a wedding, and you know, we move I on, and we have babies. I don't hope so much anymore in this regard. They should just be happy as long as they are together for as long as it takes. They should mm. just be happy. But this is for people to hope in their. Yeah. <laughs> I don't tell anything. Mm -mm. It's a good thing for Demi Lovato, especially considering the journey, the drug abuse, the recovery, the relapse, the recovery again. And I just hope this is final recovery for her because sometimes what it takes to heal is just love and having people who care about you around you. So I just hope this does the trick. Mm. Okay, so moving on from that good news, Rapatik is... Um, raising funds to support race rape victims. According to him, in a dream, he was asked to raise funds to support alien and needy rape victims. The rapper has since called on all to support the worthy cause. Now, it's interesting that he got the instruction <coughs> in his dream, mm. but regardless, it's a good one. And um, I mean, anything to help the victims. I mean, we've been having conversations around making sure that the, uh, um, the news of rape is really reduced. Maybe mm. it cannot be totally eradicated, but the way it is happening here, I mean, that calls for concern, yeah? yeah. So I, I think a lot of people are also not paying attention to the victims and how they heal, how they go through the emotional trauma, the societal, um, what's the word now? Um, stigma and all that. So I like that he's doing this regardless of where his inspiration is coming from. Mm. Yeah, I have to agree. Uh, I think people... Already the, being a victim of rape and stuff, it's all like really mental. And here in this part of Africa, 
mental health is something that hasn't even really been um, I don't even understand um, it yet. Uh, yeah we don't even get it so i think having someone to put funds into trying to rehabilitate them is a big deal for me because we don't really have that i can imagine that there will be easy to raise money to clean them up medically speaking like in the hospital and stuff but when you start to ask for money for therapy or ask your loved one i think it's a lot more i can imagine that's a lot more harder in this context to say that you need someone to talk to and you need to pay and those things are not cheap um even in nigeria as on as lucky as it is therapists are not the cheapest mm -hmm. and they're um, not the smartest either well some uh, the ones are not really good but um either ways it's something that i think needs there's a there's a need for that and i like that he's trying to fill that in i also like that he said he, the, he, the dream asked him to ask for money but after he has also paid his as well so he also believes in that and he's not just a messenger but also like participating in the work and stuff mm -hmm. so really nice so if you can that. please donate to this cause because uh, mm -hmm. i think it's for a good cause yeah. and it's spiritual so yeah a lot of people don't really understand um, what PTSD is and um, that's something that a lot of rape victims go through. So it's not even about what they went through at that time. How are they healing from it? How are they dealing with it? What type of memories do they have? What type of reactions do they have towards certain actions? Because those are the things that you have to put in consideration when you're talking about a rape victim healing. So yes, it's very. this is a very welcome development because we need to start looking beyond what happened then and how we empathize with them, sympathize with them, how we give them and, and, and out then and there. But it's also about years down the line how are they coping are they able to relate with other people properly are they able to eat are they able to speak you know like those are the things we need to watch out for and it's really really important mm. okay and like i said Ghanaians, this is the time to rise up and um, support something so please if you're watching um join in raising these funds and um, i want to believe that Rapatik will definitely yeah. get it to the right people all right, it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi. Like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Katy Perry, um, of course, ended her field with Taylor Swift. I think it's about in April last year, yeah? Uh, so basically, they're now saying it is to set example for young fans. In an interview, Perry said the media made out their field to be much bigger than it actually was. She said, and I quote, what I... What I am so grateful for is we did get to make up publicly and get to be an example of redemption for young girls, end of quote. A pregnant Katy Perry also suggested that a double standard in how the media covers female fights is partly to blame for the star's public feud. Mm. I'm going to have to disagree with her. The with last part of the... Yeah. I mean, obviously, feminist is... But yes, there's inequality in that. But I, don't, I think it's a fair representation. I think how it is how the feuds are presented is different which is normal because men don't fight with each other the way women fight with each other it's different so i, I still hear of the rivals like this person doesn't like this person 50 cent shaded this person drake isn't followed this person like we hear that all the time mm -hmm. i guess what you see is that there's more beefs about women's fights on the media but that's also another fact that women just argue with, like pe have petty fights a lot more than men some men will actually not rate the person and still show face if that makes sense also like i was up and the, these ones if you go to them if you go to the gala you will not greet each other you will not whatever whatever so I, <coughs> 
Sorry, I just, We're feel just like, petty. Yeah. I feel like she's just trying to reach a bit for me. Like it's not mm -hmm. that deep. You've settled the fight, you've settled the fight. It's not about women or men. Well, how about the redemption part? Even that was a bit <laughs> like it, she's trying to make a big deal out, out of, of nothing. nothing. Now she's the one making a big deal out of nothing. So would you blame the media when they decide to now take your big deal to make it bigger? Yeah, like you say your redemption for young girls. Calm down. Like, first of all, <clears> nobody <throat> really cared about the argument because there was even no gist about it. We knew sh um, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift fights with a lot of people, mm. first of all. She's quite the like teenage girly girl that has clicks and people she doesn't like. So she said it in Rolling Stones that um, she had an enemy, that had this unknown person, her enemies, whatever. And then the next day, uh, Taylor, uh, Katy Perry tweeted and said, watch out for someone in the black sheep, whatever. Mm -hmm. So while the ones who actually correlated the two things, we don't know what the gist is about. Girls did not lose sleep over the fact that <laughs> they were arguing or that maybe the, the tweet happened to be related to um, Taylor Swift's comments. So your, your, your settling now really doesn't, I don't think it affects girls that much. I, mm. It's a stretch for me. I really don't even agree with the whole redemption part of it all because um, if you're talking about redemption for young girls, then I don't think it should be a public thing. Can we just see the both of you together reconcile and you'd be like, oh, those two people had beef the same way. They did, actually. They no, I'm Publicly, saying it like actually. without the statements. Like, mm -hmm. can we just get the gist like we got the gist with the black sheep and all of that as well? Like, why didn't, we, why didn't you just let it happen? And then if you really want to set an example for young girls, let's forgive those who have trespassed against us let's forgive those who have offended us let's forgive those who are not doing the right thing and still love them and still pray for them and still make sure that because if it's about redemption it's not you and Katy perry's beef that you want to use to set a standard or an example for young mm. ladies there's so many other things to forgive do you understand so i don't you know we can start with now that well. you bring that up we can start with her and her ex that did she not sign a print up and took all her money what's that guy that british idiot that has long hair so she should forgive him russell anyway, the redemption the redemption part. Well, like, we can start with that that would be a nice yeah so we'll start with forgiving and then set an example well, for you i feel like i understand where <laughs> she's coming from that's me taking it from where you talked about girls and having cliques and how um, it's a thing actually because there are many ladies that cannot survive without a clique. Mm -hmm. There are very few that can be like me or you or like, yeah, you know what, like enjoy it. your life. Whether yeah. there's clique or not, it's not my business anyway. But there are so many people that are dependent on that clique. And in being in that clique, they kind of step on each other's toes. And sometimes <coughs> they don't understand how to navigate from that um, bad vibe into becoming matured mm -hmm. and relating with other people. Mm -hmm. So if there are people who are in that, I mean, we've watched something like Gossip Girls. Mm -hmm. Like mm. series have actually shown Silly what can life. happen from high school and how it can become a lifetime enemy thing. Mm. So maybe in that um, angle, she can actually be, or both of them can be a model for girls that have lived that kind of life to understand that they can actually mm. become something and not necessarily be I guess petty. maybe the conversation, like it just did, can start from that. But I don't know. There's not. There's not. There was nothing toxic about, about their it. fight yeah. but it's good that you brought that conversation up because i've always like had a, a, a clash with people who like clicks that want to be mm -hmm. that want to be friends because then they're a lot more reliant and we must do things together and i must inherit your enemies and i don't do that yeah. like if you have a beef with someone have a beef with someone the enemy of my enemy i don't believe in friend. that no i mean i'll have to be able to make my own decisions on my own yes i don't <laughs> think i should be best friends with somebody yeah. who is obviously hurting my friend but then to adamantly fight on like <clears throat> It really depends. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe rapists. That was the people that, yes, I don't care if he's not me. I will yeah. fight for you. But it has to be really extreme if I'm mm -hmm. not going to do that. So that, that's a conversation that I'm hoping maybe would happen based on the story. Yeah. But I don't even I don't even think it's even get that deep for these girls that they are claiming that this thing is for. I guess she also is pregnant. So everything is like really dull about <laughs> And her heart is bigger. And there's Almost, a lot yeah. more love. Or okay, something. cool. Yeah. Moving on then, um, Gideon Okeke recalls how a female filmmaker threatens to end his acting career, um, basically according to him, for not playing their kind of politics. And now he's like doing, look at me now, you know. <laughs> Why is it a female? He mentioned her name. Really? Yes, it was this lady, Mo Abudu. Was it Mo? Yes. He tagged. Did you see that? I didn't see that. Really? Oh, uh, really? He, he said, like, mm. from Tinsel. It was a from Tinsel that mm -hmm. um, she obviously they had a niche. 
an issue and he said after ten so got a contract you can't just kick the person out mm-hmm. after ten so i don't want anyone 10 feet near this person mm-hmm. that i own you whatever that like you're done you're done oh. in the industry and everything and okay, so he, i didn't even know it's uh, Mahabudu. now that i'm knowing she's the one well um okay i have not to say about that but i'm going to bring this back to myself i think i've been in this situation as well i'm not going to call mm. the person's name but i mean of course i was on that particular platform and something things went south right and it, it did, I, as far as i'm concerned even till today i don't see it as going south because anybody did anything bad i think it was just a a lack of communication between the people working for her and not being able to let her know what exactly this is going on more. no no more oh, and there's else. somebody else and right. you know when the whole thing came and she, this lady is known for dragging people on on facebook like she has the words so she would drag you drag you drag you and people would start pitying you so when i put out my own statement and then she did hers and people were like oh wow she's really angry you have to go and beg her how would you survive in the industry and blah, blah, blah. i'm like excuse you like how is she surviving in the industry mm. so maybe because um nigeria is so big i think nigeria has that advantage that you you can actually stand on your feet and not allow yourself to be bullied it's not like i'm sorry now it's not like a ghana where you might feel like okay because everybody smaller. knows yeah. everybody yeah. but nigeria's entertainment industry is just so huge that you have different if you want to use the word cabal or godfathers or godmothers I was going to say like we have you know BSC we have that. different in different mm. angles so if you're not in this clique and you jump to this clique but it doesn't mean that you have to shit and where you walk and all that just mm. be professional and do it and also you also get this attack because i think i, I see gideon as someone who doesn't try to kiss anybody's butt like yeah. he says it as it is and yeah. I'm, I'm sure that will not go down well with, with a lot of people, people in the industry yeah. so i like that he's succeeding even mm. at saying the truth and calling everything bs yeah. as it is that's yeah. what he does I, and i like him for that yeah i liked that he mentioned uh, that's also i was really taken aback that he didn't mention person's mm-hmm. name but i like that he mentioned her name because she's quite like uh what's the word for me or personally she's quite mother. intimidating if that makes oh. sense like she looks like somebody that you wouldn't really want to mess with because like she, maleficient yes yes <laughs> that, like yeah if you're going to give her a character a disney character you give her that with the horns and everything oh my and also like really like you know she just seems very stiff and all that obviously super uh, influential mm-hmm. so i kind of uh, I, I think i kind of appreciated the courage to be able to do that yeah. and still saying that listen not only have i done more tinsel jobs i've done other things and i've even helped my friends and all of that type of stuff i think for me what i took out of the story is that truly really the person isn't god and i think we all have people in our minds that i'm like sometimes i find myself in relationships not close relationships but relationships where i feel like it's really toxic but i have to stay because i'm hoping that we can be in a good relationship because i assume in my mind that you're my plug to Mm. success or whatever Mm -hmm. and sometimes i get reminders really quickly this is one of them that listen you don't really need one person to get to that table you need people yeah you need people and yourself actually the Um, one person cannot become god yes so Mm -hmm. i really like that he brought that up into the limelight i think for me um what i took away from this is um nobody's an island and um you need to start listening to people regardless of how little you think they are how small you think they are how little you think their contributions may be sometimes in speaking their truth and even speaking in anger may just be all you need to hear to change your own perspective about things but you know we have a lot of egoistic um bosses and um superiors and um um line managers that just walk up like okay my truth is the final truth like you don't have a say in any of it so i like where gideon came from that he was speaking his truth and they, they he was getting punished for speaking his truth too truthfully mm. he, i don't know if that makes sense but feel free to say what you want but at the same time you need to be mindful of your industry tread carefully mm. not everybody gets as lucky as gideon okk mm. is a bunch of talent the guy is talented is good at what he does so even if a moabudu doesn't want him mm. uh um what are the other female directors it, now uh, whatever lady's name Mary and Joko. Joko. Yeah, she would probably want him. He fits into all the stuff. So not everybody gets that lucky. So that know when you're speaking your truth, do you have what to back it up? Yeah. If um the feces finally touches mm. the fan, would you be able to survive? Would you I think, be I able think I think what I would say <laughs> is we just have to get to that point where we all understand 
um, how to pick our battles. Like, yeah. I was also going there to say... There are things you shouldn't bother about, like, yeah. you know, and, and then if, there are times you know that this is a battle for me. Even if I'm not fighting it for myself personally, mm -hmm. it could help someone else yeah. coming yeah. in in the industry I think people well. were even trying to, the like, future demonize, of that industry. demonize her a bit. And I don't think there's anything wrong... Okay, this is just me personally. When you say when you hear people say, oh, this person didn't believe in me, this person didn't believe in me, I don't there's think you can wrong ask... In not yes, I don't think you can... Me. I don't believe in every not single everybody talent has that to I have met. The people that I've said, oh, I don't think you're... I don't really think you have it. And then they blow like i don't think it's anything wrong mm -hmm. not believing in people and if you have a truth and you tell the truth um d despicably and that backfires and i say things yeah. and i say things like i don't think it's even a case of like that she's like you can demonize her in this situation i don't think she's done anything wrong she's a boss and you've ticked she her just off reacted. Mm -hmm. she's reacted you then happen to use that as a means to trigger your motivation to succeed great but I don't think there's a villain in the story. Mm. Another but thing, I didn't like the fact that it's coming up. Well. Yeah. I don't I like the so. fact that it's coming up seven years later. Although he said, he said it uh, before, I, 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 I forgave, but um, I never forget mm. or something like that. So that's okay. It's okay to forgive. But when you forgive, like, can we just forgive and move on? Uh, you don't have to forget. Is, that's what he yeah. said. So. Yeah, don't forget, but don't put it out there. That, that hey, means you said, There's lots of things you want people to do. You want people to say when they've had a, a fight. Even that, that comment was really interesting. We need to go down. But yeah. I don't know. It's it, it's okay to share things. I I think it's it's mm. not a bad. Well, it's okay. I just hope seven years later you won't come and share this. If he does, if it's we must be someone. But that's how we wrap up <laughs> this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter Talks and Plus TV Africa. Also catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you. You as always go to my interesting co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shoke and yeah, the entire thanks. production team thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Sea Time my name is Elsie Godwin do stay safe